Even though live theaters may be dark, the arts, they are still alive. In this Positively San Diego story, our ABC 10 News reporter Leah Pazzetti shows us how three ballet dancers are reaching out to the world from a San Diego County backyard. Yes, that's it, guys. It's not a typical space for choreography. You walk around and half turn. A backyard ballet studio in Rancho Santa Fe. Okay. Well, so naturally, ba, ba. Magnus and Tigran would usually be dancing with the Los Angeles Ballet, but that company is dark, so they've come here to find the light. Personally, what we did was that we got together and thought, how do we get through this? They had previously worked with fellow dancer Kirsten Bloom Allen, so when the pandemic started... I said, hey, guys. <laughs> How about you move into my house with my family? They started their backyard ballet. Go like this, this, and then do it. Almost one year later, and they're still dancing. Through the last year, the trio has choreographed 11 pieces, made two short films, and live streamed almost 200 shows, all for free, hoping to keep the arts alive. To bring some, some joy to the public, and even if it's on, online. But it's done more than keep it alive. They felt support for the arts grow. Everyone can watch the show through the live stream, through Facebook and Instagram. So we've gained audiences around the world that I don't think we necessarily would have reached prior to the pandemic. Helping hook people by pairing classic ballet with modern music. Songs that people know, and then we give them a little ballet to it, and they go, oh, that's so cool. You know, they get it, and they relate to it, and they, they uh, suddenly become fans of ballet. And so that's my mission with it, to create new fans of the art form. Old tricks in a new space for the world to see. Leah Pizzetti, ABC 10 News. Making it through it. If you want to watch their performances, they live stream every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday at 1 p.m. on their ARC Entertainment Facebook and Instagram pages. And we have a link to all of their pages and previous work on our website at 10news.com.